Hey guys, Richard with Brotherhood Reviews, and we're back talking about One Piece. We're on that four week break, but we still have some information that comes out uh, with these kind of data books, I guess we could call it. But um, this one, the volume one, uh, Road to Lab Tale, it is amazing. I just want to cover a couple things on it because there's a lot. They go, uh, the first page is pretty much next. Um, I'm actually looking at it right now. There was too much information for me to try and just free, free run this. Uh, so I will be like looking at my computer screen as I'm talking to you guys. So the first page, you know, it's just the cover page, the, uh, context. And then the first page is the actual page is next. It's 25 years has passed since Roger has conquered the Grand Line, which is very important because on the next page, it breaks down Roger's life up until his death. And what I feel like a lot of people did not realize uh, is that they didn't give us an age about when he gained his uh renounced when he was renowned as a rookie but he, they did say about 50 years ago so 50 years minus the 77 years ago from when he was born is around uh 27 so when he was 27 that's when he was gained his uh gained his popularity as a rookie but in between that in the 77 is when the Roger Pirates were formed. Um, so I could, you could say he was probably 20, maybe. So it took him about seven years, maybe even earlier than that, because he couldn't have been sailing the seas that long because he found, because when he started his crew, he found uh, Rayleigh immediately. Um, so I felt like that was interesting and he was 27 when he was a rookie, uh, well, renowned as a rookie, about 27, probably 26, between 26 and 28, I would say, like at the oldest 28, at the youngest 26, right before his 27th birthday. Um, uh, and then they also, uh, talk about, uh, his final drinks when he uh of the birth of ace or well, the conception of ace um uh also mentions that he named his son after his sword and told everybody that his sword his son would be the next uh would be the one to usher in the new era and all this uh it also goes over how he uh asked garp in the jail to take care you know make sure that his son don't doesn't die and he knew garp was going to do it you know which is you know it's a garp thing to do now the second page of deep um we go over the difference of the pony glyphs and the the load pony glyphs the um it's not road pony glyphs anymore uh, they fixed the translation, um, and uh, we we see like a better understanding of the differences of pony glyphs, and then we get a a view of where the pony glyphs exactly where all the the road road pony glyphs were, or rogue pony glyphs, however you pronounce it, and where they are now. And we still don't know where two of them are. We know the one on Wano is still on Wano. Well, may still be on Wano, which is, I think, a throw off, you know, trying to make us think like, oh, where could this be? Um, but Kai, it says that it's still in Kaido's possession, which is kind of weird because that is Kaido still alive? Because you're saying it's still in Kaido's possession, but everybody thinks Kaido's dead. So I think that's very important um, because it kind of alludes to whether or not the, uh, Odo's still trying to play with uh, whether or not uh, Big Mom and Kaido are dead or alive or what's going on with them. Now, uh, 
and it's interesting because there's only uh, one that's technically still in the same spot that it was uh, 20, you know, 26 years ago when Roger found it. And, you know, the whole cake island one was located in Big Mom's possession as, oh, okay, so it was located in Big Mom's possession back then. So, but who knows uh, if it was on whole cake back then. Because uh, I believe it was on Fisherman Island. I think Fisherman Island was still ran by Big Mom. But she, I think she took the pony glyph out of there after Roger probably stole the uh, the rubbings. Um, now, this is the biggest thing that happened on the second page that everybody's been talking about. Oda pretty much gives us three islands and he says, which one is next? Where could the Pawnee Glyph be? And I feel like this is interesting because uh, this arc, we went to about three different islands before it technically finished. So I think we're gonna go to all three of these islands and he's just, playing with us uh i think it's more of uh which one are we gonna go to first and uh the three islands because i haven't even said them yet is full lead uh which is blackbeard's island vera which is that one island nami mentioned 20 years ago uh, and elbath which you know has been talked about for the past 20 years so with these three islands I, I feel like that we're gonna go to all of them and I feel like the last one we're gonna go to is Blackbeard's we'll probably go to Elbath first or Vera first because I believe Vera might be like a stop for Elbath um and Honestly, Vera might be that island Shanks just be chilling on all the time. Because nobody knows the name of the island Shanks be at. That's very interesting to think about. It might be the Vera might be the island Shanks is at. Wow. Yeah, because... And um, because I haven't subscribed to the fact that this last arc is going to take us five years. This, for, this arc took us four. Three and a half. Four. Might as well say four. So I believe the next arc is going to take us five. Just to have that clean 30 years of One Piece. Um, But that's my thoughts. Anyways, let's get back to task at hand but yeah the three islands elbath bureau full lead full lead full lead whatever that's what i'm calling it full lead um i believe we're gonna go to all three of these islands i believe it's just depending on the order and i do believe there might be one more island in between one of these or two more islands in between each of these um because i could I, I can see them having the final battle on full lead. I can see them going to Vera to probably meet up with Shanks if that's the, the island Shanks is going to. And I am one of those believers who thinks that there is a pony cliff on Elbath. So there we go. Um, that That's my thoughts on it. Um, uh, the last page, rocks the Zebek. Uh, this is this is just really doesn't give us any real crazier information, but it does make everything uh, make more sense. A lot. It it really tells us um, how he was renowned. Uh, let's see, it goes back like forty four years ago when the formation of the Rocks Pirates on Full Lead, uh, Black Bears Island, and then they uh, Kaido joins the crew uh, a little bit after that as a rookie, um, and then 38 years ago the God Valley incident, 
uh, where he was taken down by Roger and Garp. Um, Big Mom Kaido and the Golden Lion. Uh, it, it really shows that like a lot of the big name pirates after that were from that crew. So like uh, Kaido, Big Mom, White Beard, and the Golden Lion. But what is this is very interesting because what it said is like the old um, all the Yonko were were uh, a part of Rock's crew. So all of the Yonko, but they named Big Mom, Kaido, Whitebeard, and Golden Lion, Shiki. So was Gold, was Shiki, uh, the, well, it doesn't say Shiki, but the Golden Lion, but you know, everybody knows Shiki. But um, so Shiki was a Yonko before Shanks. So like, I think that confirms it a little bit. Um, so I know that was like a question in the community for a little bit. Well, who was a Yonko before Shanks? Was there a Yonko before Shanks? Or was it established when Shanks became who Shanks is now? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, because in the East Blue, he wasn't a Yonko. When he was in, you know, in the beginning of the series, he was just a regular pirate getting his name out there. Um... And then they talk more about does his will live on in Blackbeard, but you know everybody's favorite theory. And then we get into like um concept art for for how he wanted them to look in Wano, and a lot of the designs are cool. Links for this will be in the description. You guys, um, that's all I really have. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Um. Links will be in the description. I hope you guys have a good day, time, night, whenever you guys are listening to this. Thank you.